Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Yes. Oh, damn, damn. Oh, yikes. He is so heavy. Holy crap. Ah. Ow, 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 ow. Ah. Ah. Look at that fish go. Ah. Oh, he's going down again. Going down again. Ow. Out on the river. Brand new spot. Haven't been here before, but I've had my eye on it for a long time. Try wear outdoors hat for luck. We'll see if we get anything before we get rained out. All right, we got another run. We're gonna give this one even more time. I double checked the hook and everything's still sharp. The leader is still good, no nicks. All right, all right, all right. Ah, oh. You gotta be careful, especially after a, a missed bite where you tried to set the hook real good or had the hook set for a bit. The line will bite into the spool and on the next run you got to watch it because that fish will encounter that resistance when the line gets hung up. I've lost some decent fish on the run just like that. 300 yards of line and I would say about 200 yards out maybe a little more are some huge snags on both sides of the river so obviously it's on both sides it's probably in the middle as well. So that's kind of the mark I'm really, really watching closely is when I think he's getting close to that, we gotta, we gotta put the hook on him. Come on. Okay, we're on, same as before though. These reels that I'm using, they have a lot of good features, but one of the features I don't like is the drag. It doesn't set quite as hard as it advertises. Again, this fish feels like it's coming back to us. I don't like this. Okay, there he is, there he is. Okay. Sorry about the chest cam, I know some people don't like it. Ooh, there he goes. I know some people don't like the chest cam, but it helps on some days, especially days like today where it was raining earlier. It's uh, easy to see what's in the frame and what's not. And uh, to clear the water off the lens. My reel is sliding off to the side of the rod. Ooh, kick there. This one is better hooked. A couple of head shakes. There's, the, ooh, there we go. I was gonna say no attempts at a big run yet. Ooh, there we go. He's waking up now. He's also getting really close to those trees over there. I'm gonna try to change position a little bit, keep him away from that. If he gets around that one, we'll probably lose this fish. Try to pull him in closer to us. Ideal scenario, we can work him into this pocket, fight him over here. That's gonna be our landing zone as well. So let's get our rope just in case he starts cutting the way we want. We don't have to backtrack. Okay. He's right in front of us. He's right in front of us. He's right down there. 
This fish is right down there. Okay, if he wants to cut on the other side of the rocks to the left, I'm cool with that too. Just as long as we keep him up. Ooh. Guys, he is right under us and he's good sized. Oh, he's pulling drag now. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Son of a gun. This is a bigger fish than I thought he was. At the very least, he's a better fighter than I was anticipating. We still don't know how big he is yet. That's all you really know is how big, how good of a fight they're putting up. But I still haven't seen him yet. Oh, okay. This fish feels good. Oh, I don't know yet. Shit. Damn, damn, damn. Kids talking to me. Just don't get me wrong. It's always... Always cool when you get to educate people, especially young ones about fish, but we haven't caught this fish yet. I haven't even seen him yet. I think he's good size. Okay, here we go. Yes, 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 this is a big fish. Okay, here's what we're doing. Ow, 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 ow. Burning my hand. Burning my hand. What's that guy? Rope is behind me. This is, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, this fish is big. This, this is a big one. Yes. Oh, damn, damn. He's going for the snag. Hang on. This fish is big. We brought a measuring tape because I, I had a feeling there would be a big fish out here. It's the kind of spot that just favors it, you know? Sometimes. You can just tell. Oh, yikes. He's so heavy. He's so heavy. Holy crap. Ah, almost pulling me in. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, ah. Look at that fish go. Okay. Now my plan, my plan, hang on, is to fight this fish over into that pocket, which gonna be difficult for a couple of reasons hang on oh there he is down there oh my god he tore the skin right off my thumb on one of those runs ah he's big this is a damn big fish all right hang on a second I want to make my uh, way to the landing zone but I want to bring our tape measure I want to know exactly how big that one is oh damn we're getting a bite on the other rod too All right, this fish down here is, uh, ooh, he's big. We're ready to work him to our landing zone. Damn it, that other rod is going. Oh, he's not done yet. This fish is still fighting. That's fine, that's fine. See that big tree right there sticking out of the water? Let's see if we can coax him to run past it so I can get this line over it. Damn, we got another run on the other rod. All right, well, you know what? This is a damn good fish. Let's focus on the one we got. If the other fish spits a bait or hangs us up, it'll be okay if we can land this one. Mm. Ah. Which we're only gonna do if we can get him over there. Come on, buddy. Damn, I don't have my... Uh, I'll have to go back for the pliers to unhook him, but let's get him landed first. You know, we can't do any of these things we keep talking about until we land this fish. So far, we haven't done that yet. These birds just grabbing at this rope. This fish is good size, man. This is the kind of fish you come out here for, I think. Oh, he's going down again, going down again. Ow, 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 ow. God, these river landings are always insane. All right, hang on. 
This is the spot I want to get you right here. Boom. Okay, this is where I want to land this fish. Naturally, because it was flooded recently, I'm sinking in this mud. Which, uh, I don't care about getting muddy, I care about maneuverability. Which can be quite important in the landing process. This fish seems to be getting tired though, so I think we're close to getting him. Oh damn, this rope's not even tied. Hang on a second. This rope's not even tied for a knot. I grabbed the wrong one, I have two. I have uh, the same rope as cut into sections and one is like a hitching section. And this rope, uh, one is a hitching section, one is a, uh, a gar landing rope with a lasso and this was the wrong one, shit. Okay, we're good. Normally I have a lariat, but a lariat's out of commission. I gotta go to a feed store to get a new one. Oh man, this is a heavy fish. Look at this guy, man. He's breaking a hundred for sure. So nice. First gar of 2023 right here. Yeah, people ask me to catch all kinds of fish, but it is it is the alligator gar that are my bread and butter, man. This is what I'm known for. This is what, uh, this is my A game right here. Come here, buddy. Oh, don't, don't do it. I know you're thinking about it. Don't do it. They always have a bit of a go at the bank. They always do. It's one of the reasons I prefer the lariat because you can slide it over them so much easier. These burrs are driving me insane. Okay, he's not, he's not ready to give up yet. I gotta keep him away from that tree. This is the sweet spot right here. That is a lost fish. Oof. Nope, nope, nope. Right as I say that, he makes a run for it. We got him back. All this mud on the handle. It's causing me to slip my grip. Damn, this is a damn good fish. It's a damn good fish. I really want to land this fish. Come on. Come on. I mean, there's guys out there, you know, like the sport fishing guideline is like what? You touch the leader, it's landed. But I like to uh, properly land alligator gar. I like to properly land them, properly unhook them, get them on camera. You can see the teeth are just cutting into that braid. It's one of the double edged swords of using the braid. It's better for the fish at the end of the day than wire, which is why I'm, uh, stop, stop shifting towards it more and more. But it is much harder to work with in regards to landing fish. Okay, where's your fin? Give me your pectoral, man. Caught fish, son of a gun. That's a good fish, damn. I've gotten to the point where my shoes are soaking wet now, full of water and mud, but you know, this is the point of the, the this is the point of the day where that is totally fine. Let's get this up there. Let's pull this fish up on the mud. Uh -huh. It's gonna be hard because it's a bit of an uphill battle this. I wanna pull him up on the mud. Uh, and fasten this rope to uh, one of these snags before I go get our pliers. Just keep him, keep him right here. Keep him still. Let's uh, use this rope to our advantage measuring him. We'll slide this, uh, hold still, measuring tape under the rope. Whew and use the tension between the rope and his body to hold the measuring tape in its drawn position at his nose. There we go. See, that's the thing about all this stuff. There we go. It's always the thing you don't expect that gets you. It's the fish doesn't bite you, the measuring tape cuts you. Six foot four. Six foot four, he's John Wayne. John Wayne sized. That's a damn good fish. Well over a hundred pounds. 
easily. Not tired fish kick, but proper river monster kick. Look at that. Whew. Unfortunately, the sun is at my back. Oh, I can't lift him. Part of this is just because the, uh, the mud is stopping me. I'm gonna try to get my legs under him and lift him with my knee. You guys can see, that is a hell of a fish. Look at that. Oh. Oh. I, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. What a, ah, what a dinosaur. What a dinosaur. Incredible. Are we still rolling? Yes. All right. Let's let this guy have a recovery. Incredible animal. Incredible. Huge. Absolute river monster, this. People say that about a lot of fish, but sometimes they're exaggerating. And sometimes they're not. There he goes. Woo! Oh man. Oh man, what a what a fight. Let me try to get out of here now without my shoes coming off. Ah, lie down. Okay. Ah. Ooh, what a day. <laughs> Fish like that, always worth it. Always worth it. Even if you got a two hour drive home and you're looking like this, that kind of animal is worth it. I love alligator gar so much. They're just the coolest animal in the world, in my opinion. Just fantastic. There's a good number of them left in Texas, and a lot of people mistake that for the idea that there's a good number of them left in general, and there's not. Their range used to be all throughout the U.S., and uh, the stronghold is still Texas, Louisiana, but that's it. There's some really good ones up in Mississippi, uh, but once you start getting any further north or further east than that, you're not gonna find any more like this. Um, alligator gar used to be all over the United States. So yes, there's a good number of them here, uh, but there should be a good number of them in a lot more places than just here. So their population's dramatically on the decline. Uh, things are looking better for them in recent years thanks to moderate protections. I would really like to see, uh, you know, Texas Parks and Wildlife, uh, Fish and Wildlife Service, the Department of the Interior, whoever it is that handles it, really, these fish really, really, really need better protections. They're a native species. They've been here for millions of years. They predate the vast majority of game fish that we think deserve all these protections that we put here after the fact. These fish were here first and uh, they're an incredibly important part of these ecosystems and they deserve protection. I would like to see the state get on top of that. Stop overvaluing fish that we just move from place to place because uh, a sporting guide says they're fun to catch and start putting a greater amount of value on the fish that have been here since Tyrannosaurus rex was walking around. And that's not an exaggeration. Cretaceous period, man. These things have been around forever. And hopefully they'll stay around forever. We always do catch and release. If you're new to the channel, we 100% release every single gar we catch. We never keep them. I want that fish to live for decades to come and get bigger and bigger. All right, guys. Check out Triber Outdoors for some awesome, awesome gear, including the shirt I'm wearing, which is uh, our logo. And uh, on the back is actually the emblem of the alligator gar, specific to our show. Our show's emblem and then the alligator gar design. So Triber Outdoors, check it out, it's in the description. I'll put some links down there as well about alligator gar conservation. I definitely encourage you guys to read up on that. There's a lot of myths surrounding these animals that are thrown out uh, by mostly by sporting fishermen who believe falsely that they're gonna eat all the game fish they like. That's not the case. Read some of the information down in the description to learn more about these incredible animals. Check out the link in the description for the Patreon if you wanna support us there. Five bucks, you get a whole bunch of extra videos, some of my best fishing spots. You get to fish with me from time to time. We do these big fishing days, things like that. Definitely check that out. All right, let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see more of weird bait challenges, different species. We're doing a big saltwater trip uh, pretty soon, so tell me if you want to see any specific saltwater fish, we'll go for it. And uh, until then, I'm out of here.